my trailer reaction again. This is another one that I was requested. It's a retro trailer reaction. This is for the movie Crawl from 1983. Definitely one that I've watched in my time. Uh, quite enjoyed it, I think. I quite like the video cover. The, the, the weapon that a guy has got is like a weird, curly... It's like not, not quite a boomerang. Not the same shape as a boomerang. It's like a, fr it's like a frisbee. It's like a stabbed fris frisbee is what it is. It's got like four arms and like blades coming off it. And he throws it and it cuts people's throats for them. Kind of a bit like the weapon that... Um, uh, what's her face? Uh, Xena the Warrior Princess had uh, whatever she was called. Xena the Warrior. Was she called Xena the Warrior Princess? Xena the Warrior Summit, rather. But um, yeah, kind of a weapon like that, but blades. Um, I kind of think this was an English film as well, a British film, because it had a lot of British actors as well, like including. Uh, oh, what's his. Like, I literally. When I was new, I was going to do a reaction. I remember the guy's name, but now I'm trying to remember it. I can't. I can't remember it. <laughs> was it Broadbent? Was Broadbent in this one? No, uh, Alan Armstrong. I think it was Alan Armstrong. He ended up. He was like a bit of a TV actor in in the UK. I think he's called Alan Armstrong. He was in a film. He was in a series called New Tricks, where he played an old detective kind of thing. But uh, yeah, and uh, Bernard Breslau again. We saw him in the Hawk the Slayer reaction that I did recently. And I think I might have mentioned Hawk the Slayer that he did. That he was a cyclops in uh, in this film. I was, I'm not sure if I did actually, but no, I don't think I'm chatting it to somebody else. I took I mentioned it. But yeah, he reprises his role because he's quite tall. He was he wasn't super huge, but he was a giant in in Hawk, and he's a cyclops. Kind of a giant, but not really. You know, about a few feet, few inches taller than other, than normal people. But um, I'm sure, he's supposed to be a giant. But he's got only got one eye in this one, one plasticine eye, if I recall. <laughs> Must have been hard to do the acting, but he couldn't even see out of his plasticine eye. But anyway, let's just crack on with this trailer. I think this might be a VHS um, version. Did say must rescue his mum? Did it just say he must rescue his mum? That didn't, I'm sure that it couldn't have been what they said. Must rescue his mum? I need to go back on that again already. The death of his world. Hold on. Beyond our time, beyond our universe, there is a planet besieged by alien invaders. No. Where a young king must rescue his love from the clutches of the beast. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. This isn't one of those trailers where they've taken the voice from something else and stuck it onto uh, onto another trailer, is it? Because I don't remember it. That's not his mum, is it? And I don't remember it being another planet. Was it another planet? Uh, I've got a feeling I might have a dodgy trailer here. I don't, I'm going wait to till, wait till the actors start talking, but I don't remember it being played as a science fiction. It's, like, but it's a fantasy, isn't it? But it's like, I suppose it's a fantasy on a science fiction planet. I mean, on, a, on another planet. I don't know. Let's just watch. Risk the death of his world. A world called Crow. No, maybe it is the real trailer. Wow, it must have been a long time since I've seen this because I don't remember any of this. I don't remember them having ra laser rifles in it. I thought it was all like fantasy and like sword and sorcery, but obviously it isn't because these guys. So these guys are aliens. This is a far off planet and. Wow, I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all about the film. <laughs> so, okay. I do remember, like, I think there was a fight at the beginning and, he, and his girlfriend, his, his wife or something, gets kidnapped. I'm sure he said it was his mum just then. Maybe his mum gets kidnapped as well. I don't remember now. Maybe I'm getting confused. Maybe it's just his mum. I can't remember. I'm going to have to carry on watching. Uh, yeah, there's laser beams and the beast. I don't remember the. It's true. I, just don't, I remember there was a big building that try and find it. I think it teleported. This building tele like a pyramid. And it kept teleporting from one place to another. And the Cyclops with his one eye could see where it was going to be. He's got some kind of like future sense kind of thing, and he, he was able to f know predict whether um because he, he, he knew he, he could predict his own death. He knew exactly when he was going to die, and he could predict where this pyramid was at certain you know when it was going to get there. So yeah, so I think that's why they had to find the Cyclops, old Bernard Breslau, who does die, uh, as he predicted. Um, I think he gets crushed by the pyramid, or trying to get into the pyramid, or trying to hold the door open on the pyramid. I can't remember. He dies anyway. Anyway, let's carry on. Incredible power has taken the planet by force. They look really false. The human savagery has got to be 
stopped. And these are the ones who must stop it. Thieves. Let's just kill them and be done with it. Warriors. Wizards. <laughs> super special effects there. Especially super sound effects as well. Right, it's a real Doctor Who kind of level of like a TV movie kind of um, effect. I don't know, it's not that bad, but you, you know, it's 1980. You don't expect great effects in the 80s. Mind you, it's, you know, you had the Star Wars in the 70s and already had their great effects then. But you just think it kind of looks a bit like the um, the, the the attacking forces look kind of pantomime-ish, you know? They look like men in rubber suits. They look kind of like, you know, they don't look as crisp as you'd get nowadays, put it that way. They do look a bit... Um, a little bit on the on the rubbery side, the enemies, I must say. And as for the beast, yeah, he he definitely looks to be on the rubbery side. Um, yeah, I don't remember any. I mean, yeah, I remember there was a gang that they team up with, and I think Alan Armstrong was one of them, the leader of them. They're like that bandit. Sort of, I think it's Alan Armstrong. I can't remember if they'll get. I might even get his name wrong. But um, yeah, I remember there was like some bandits. Um, they, yeah, a changeling. It kind of rings a bell now. It's been so long since I've seen it. I can't remember the last time I saw this film actually. I think I'll turn you into a goose. <laughs> oh, That's the second time you've saved my life. A child. Is it even Bernard Breslau? I'm not sure if it is now. I think I was mistaken. See, I'm remembering things wrong. I don't think there was Bernard Breslau playing the Cyclops there. I'll have to wait till, till he talks. Um, hmm. Probably got it all completely wrong. <laughs> Unless he's just got special, he's just got makeup on. Wait till he talks, and I just I seem to recall it. But you know, your memory plays tricks on you, and like you 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 remember things incorrectly, obviously. And like, and I'm watching this now, and I thought I was going to know it well, and literally I looked at it, I go, oh, yeah, I kind of like seeing it now, I kind of remember it. But first of all, when I first see it, I'm like, oh, I don't remember that, I don't remember that, and I go, oh, yeah, actually, now I think about it, yeah, I do remember it, but yeah, yeah, interesting. Return, except from the hand of the woman I choose as my wife. Unlikely allies. Well, you heard him. There he is. We are now an army. Battling an unbeatable enemy. I think his name's Alan Armstrong. And, um, yeah. I think it's the guy I was thinking of. For the life of the Princess Lissa. He's too powerful. And the freedom of the planet Kroll. <laughs> the planet's called Kroll. I thought the guy's name was Kroll, actually, thinking about it. No. The guy with the, 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 the spiky spiky frisbee. I, I mean, who was that actor, even? Did he go on to anything else? I don't sort of... Really, kind of like Hawk the Slayer. It's like uh, the guy, the, the, the hero from that, I don't remember ever seeing in, in anything else ever again. And the geezer from this movie, I'm like, if I have seen him in something else, I probably just didn't recognise him. But I think, I think he's an American actor and everyone else is British actors. I'm guessing it was filmed in like Pinewood or some cheap studio in the UK uh, with a load of bit part UK actors. Anyway, let's crack on. Courage lives in many worlds. But the bravest of all is Crawl, a world light years beyond your imagination. <laughs> I completely forgot it was another planet. I thought it was, yeah, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I, I just thought it was more fantasy. I, I don't remember there being laser blasts in it and stuff like that. Um, I, I suppose I think I remember there being magic in it. Now I think about it. I'm going to do a reaction for another film in a little while that I remember watching a ton as a kid. And I'm probably not going to remember any of that either. But yeah, that was oh, that was early 80s awfulness or oh, I don't know it was alright at the time it was entertaining at its time it was entertaining but I'd imagine any kids watching that now would just be like oh what is this rubbish it's so wooden it's so plastic it's so rubbery it's like the special effects look like they've drawn on with crayons you know <laughs> it's just real low you know probably high budget for the time or reasonable reasonably high budget for the time but um, you know it was a kind of throwaway movie at the, at the time, wasn't it? It did go to the cinema, though. It was in the cinema, and I do remember, I'm sure, getting it, it got quite a bit of a push. I'm sure I remember re sort of seeing, like, adverts for it in my, my comic books I got in the, back in the day, and, like, articles about it and that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, but... Mm, it kind of, like, film maybe I should watch again just to just to remind myself. I'm not sure. I need to find out if, if that was Buddy Bernard Breslau now in that bloody well... in that Cyclops... Uh, Makeup. I'm sure it was, 
But I need to. But looking at the the guy there, I mean, unless he was just it was just makeup on his face, maybe, and it, so he didn't look like him. But um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go and I'm gonna have to go and search that up after I've done this. I'll try and leave it in the comments uh, if it is who, who who the actor is that plays the Cyclops. Um, anyway, yeah, I think that's I think I've said as much as I can say about that movie. Uh, cheesy old fantasy sci-fi eighties um, bonkers goodness stroke badness that's how i would sum that up um anyway what, did you watch crow back in the day what were your thoughts on the movie i think the uh the, the female lead is uh was a very very nice looking lady i think that uh yeah, she was a, she was a cutie wasn't she anyway but to leave your reactions to my reactions in the comments down below give me up a, a nice sub up if you want to see some more reactions from me and don't forget to give me the old <laughs> thumbs up because they always go down a treat and come back for a future video from me